I forgot how much I enjoyed driving my car. A fresh set of tires made a big difference. What is happening everyone? I'm Ed, this is my shop, the channel, Edit Customs. So, well it's been a while since I've spoken with you guys. Last thing I was doing was tearing apart the big block for my jet boat. Sorry everyone, I ramble so much that the memory card's always full. <laughs> you guys don't even have to hear half my rambling. I listened to them twice. So anyway, like I was saying, it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. Um, I've started my own business because, well, there was a difference in opinion at my other job that resulted in me not working there anymore. So I started Edit Services LLC. But anyway, back to channel stuff, which seems to be things I'm doing in my life, things I'm working on, things I'm building, and things that I think you guys wanna see. So, I finally finished fixing the hole in the Challenger. This stuff is a 3M panel bond. I TIG welded, beat the floor back together, TIG welded it back together. This is the factory body plug. The gray stuff is a seam sealer. But anyway, now I'm gonna have to order, I gotta get these plastic panels because those, those got broken when that happened. In case you guys don't know how that happened, I was flying through Seattle at triple digit speeds and ran over something. What? I don't know. Everybody asks me what? What did I run over? You know, I was doing well over 100. Don't know. Something in the road. Something that was taller than my car is low. Show. Hole. Anyway. We got some more work to do to the Challenger, but I want to drive it. I need to... I want to I wanna do a little before and after testing because I'm going to replace... I don't know if you guys can see them. Let me get the flashlight. Right up in there. These things. Going to replace those subframe bushings. I have some energy suspension ones right over here, actually. I got them right over here. Check them out. There. Bam! I packed with these. Ugh. Coffee. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Bushings. I've had these bushings. I've had those since the car had like 50,000 miles on it. You know, I was going to do an upgrade. It's got 110 on it now. <laughs> the factory ones are whooped. That cradle, the cradle in the car walks back and forth. I'm guessing at least three quarters of an inch. We're going to find out. I'm going to put a GoPro under the car and drive it around and see how bad shit moves around. Then we're going to take it apart and put those in it. And then, and then we'll put the GoPro under the car again and beat on it some more and see what happens. So, I gotta put, put that up there today. I gotta put that thing on, that thing on, some of that stuff on. Then, <laughs> yeah, brand new Nitto 555. My favorite for that car in 110,000 miles. They are, well, they're my favorite tire for that car. I like them a lot. Yeah. So anyway, get some rubber on it, burn the rubber off, see what happens. Here, I'll show you guys the inside of the car. The mess with the whole, the whole mess. Ah, it didn't turn out too bad. This whole lip was bent all the way up against this frame rail. Boom! All the way to where it's black. It was just, it was bent all the way up, folded all the way over. My buddy old dude and I, he helped me. He was on the inside. I heated up the bottom. There, there wasn't enough hands to be filming this. And it was stressing me out because I really love this car. So anyway, I heated up that, that where it was folded and it was just with some localized heat. And Jamie beat on it with a hammer until she was flat. So yeah, now I can almost drive my car. I'm gonna finish putting it back together. If I have something else to say, I'll turn on the camera. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to get you guys updated on what's going on. What's going on in the edit custom world? It's been a long two weeks. It's a lot of work launching my own business. Yeah, we're gonna need some work. I got a lot of projects to work on. That's uh, kind of put a stall to everything too with the uh, no income, but we'll figure it out. 
Well, I don't know if I've ever talked about any of the stuff under the hood of this car, which isn't much. It's just a 5.7 Hemi with a Predator programmer. That's it. That's all she's got. Daily driver. Try and keep it mostly stock. Uh, it does have this Cervini's Ram Air. I got this back in 2011. Like, <laughs> the car only had two miles on it when I got it. I put about 100 on it, and then I had to go back to see. So, it's it, this Cer Cervini's Ram Air has been on this car for... 100 over 100,000 miles. I should get a new filter for it. I've washed that one so many times. So many times. But yeah, it, it, it's a nice kit. It's held up really well. It came with screws to screw the, this big thing to the head. It's got a big piece of Tupperware. Yeah. Ram Air, Cervini's. But I, I chose to rivet it to the hood. There's also 3M double sided sticky tape under here too, just to help seal it better. And then you gotta swap out your vents right there. You gotta swap those out with the SRT ones that actually flow air through them. And then it's all ducted to these holes. And then this piece of foam seals it to the intake. But this box, it still draws air out. The, the box still draws air out the bottom. There's like a four inch hole down there in the challengers. It picks up air from in here to the bottom of this intake. So that's still open too, but it does suck the hood down when you hit the throttle. It's funny. Anyways, this thing's almost ready to drive. I haven't driven this car in months. Last things I was doing with it was Saturday slides. Mm. Gross. Alrighty. Where does this go? snap together car weird don't get me wrong though i love this car it is one tough bitch i am not easy on shit we gotta put those things on back here too these ones are really important i found a few interesting things going on here this is the front front driver you can see my tire's been rubbing that's new to me also been rubbing on this sway bar a lot it's polished and it's starting to touch the upper control arm here this weirdo Frickin', I guess that's part of the knuckle. Uh, uh, that stuff's weird to me. I'm used to torsion bars. Show. But we'll go look at the other side. It's not worn near as bad. It's still a little bit of rubbing on here. This is probably just tire flex. The tires almost touch this anyway. But you can see it's just starting here. And then the sway bar. The sway bar, you can see it touches. It hasn't gone through the powder coat yet. There it has, and it's rusty. So either I huck it, let's see. Either I huck it to the right a lot harder than I do to the left, or stuff's starting to get wore out. I'm going with stuff starting to get wore out. <laughs> I, I've been beating on this car a while. Hey, stay there. We might need to replace some of this stuff, some of these, some of this stuff. She needs some maintenance, but let's put the tires on it and beat on it some more. They're new, they can rub on things. Where am I gonna put you guys? Back in your hole. Let me put you back in your hole. Got the hoopty down off the lift. See if it still starts. <laughs> it's been, I left the doors open for a couple days, I think. I still gotta put the interior in it. So dark. This thing needs a new clutch. These, uh, the new tires are gonna, gonna do the clutch in. No, show. These struts, don't work anymore. Part of it's due to this aluminum wing. The other part is, is that they're weak from the factory. The petty spoiler didn't help at all. Alrighty. Let's see if we can light it off. Oh, this is gross. Guys, you're gonna have to move.
Aso's the place where they suck the turds. It's all right. I wonder how many stories are in there. You can smell the grove. <laughs> The vents are back there. So you up here, somebody went off the road. I don't know how because it's straight right here. But the tire marks are right through there into their yard and smashed into the gas station. How do you just slide off the road going straight? I don't get it. The Adam Galvanite is still open. I don't like to cause a wreckage in all my areas though. BMW update. Uh, God, I'm so shaky. I haven't eaten yet. Just the coffee. Just had the coffee. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm to a different cup even now. I don't know where I set my other one down, but it was empty, so who cares? God, that's good. So, those of you that follow me on Instagram, probably seen something like this on, on my feed, Instagram page, whatever, whatever the hell that thing is. This is happening. So despite the ugliness of all of these different colors. <laughs> God, it's so hideous. It'll be better. This is a 440 block, RB, raised block, Chrysler, of course, Mopar. This, I just, it was sitting on the ground and I was looking at it and there's just so much shit on it and that thing looks suspect and I just, uh, you know, I'm a fan of this inline six. To me, this thing's damn near a slant six as far as I'm concerned. It's very Chrysler-y. I like that motor. But, been watching a lot of Uncle Tony's Garage, and I like Mopars. He was talking about narrowing your focus and sticking with what you know, and you know what? I know big block Mopars carburetor, so we're gonna stick one in there. I've never seen a big block BMW. It may not drift very well anymore, but it'll make lots of tires smoke. So yeah, it'll sound really good too. So anyway, 440 block. Uh, forget what kind of heads. They're an open chamber, big valve. It's got some stainless, stainless valves in it. Uh, some dual spring em a thing, uh, spring em a what's it? You know. It's got the dual ones. I can't remember who makes them. You know, I just trade and swap Chrysler stuff, Mopar stuff, and you know. These are just parts that have been laying in my shop. This intake, this carb, this. We're going budget build. Remember when I said I started my own business? I don't have any more money. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> Show. We're going this route. I know how to make horsepower with it. And it, you know, this is this is important to me. It's got uh, the transmission's uh, A833 overdrive four speed Chrysler product. It's got, uh, I think, Lakewood scatter shield. I think I'm, I'll run a 10 inch flywheel and a 10 inch clutch or whatever I have in the parts cabinet. I already have, I have a, Cam. I got everything to I got everything to make this thing brown. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys with what's going on. That's about it. I need to make some new motor mount. These one I don't even think I'm gonna be able to use my condor mounts anymore. Never even got to use them. There'll be more cars. So that's what's happening. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I have to go do work to make a little bit of money. Is that it? So uh, yeah, that's it for all those uh, new subscribers and for all the people that, that uh, watch my channel. I just thought I'd give you guys an update. It's been a while since I said something. That's what's happening. I'm excited about this. This is gonna be mean. This is gonna be nasty. Yeah. <laughs>